12 Celebs Hollywood Won't Cast Anymore. Number 12. Cuba Gooding Jr. Best known for his roles in Jerry Maguire, Men of Honor, and for playing athlete O.J. Simpson in American Crime Story, the actor has left us wanting so much more. With his last movie role as Fred Gray in the 2014 film Selma, we haven't seen much of the actor, and we aren't sure why. Back in 2016, the actor told E! News that he was offered to star in Amistad and Hotel Rwanda, but said no. He revealed that he declined because in his mind, he had the role he wanted to play. When he won an Oscar for Jerry Maguire, he didn't want anything that could parody the face that he had a tagline in a movie. The actor states that he did end up regretting not taking up the roles as he offended a lot of great directors, and when that happened, he somewhat faded away. Fortunately, he says he learned his lesson and now considers the director no matter what the role is. Number 11. Jodie Foster The actress and filmmaker has delivered award-winning performances in iconic movies like Silence of the Lambs and Carnage. She has also starred in the fantasy film Nim's Island and the suspense thriller Inside Man. But at the end of the 2000s, we haven't seen much of the actress. So what happened? Foster has tried to unsuccessfully take a hold of a couple projects in the past years, which include starring and directing in a biopic of Nazi film director Lenny Riefenstahl, who was not fond of the idea. Since 2010, she has taken a few acting roles and focused her attention on directing. She starred and directed the 2011 film Beaver and called the production the biggest struggle of her professional career. The film flopped at the box office and received mixed reviews. She's also spending more time with her family since coming out to the public with her true sexuality. She enjoys a quiet home life. Foster rarely talks about her private life in interviews, but has shared that her family is what's most important to her. Number 10. Cameron Diaz The actress and former model rose to fame starring in high-profile credits like Charlie's Angels and There's Something About Mary. By 2010, Forbes named Diaz as the richest female celebrity, and in 2013, she was listed as the highest-paid actress in Hollywood. But her newest releases started to tank at the box office, and movies like Sex Tape, The Counselor, and Other Women and Annie received negative reviews and Razzie Awards for the worst actress. With a slew of unsuccessful films, it seems like Diaz was losing her charisma and chopping blocks, which might be a reason why Hollywood hasn't cast her in any movies. Her last on-screen appearance was on the children's show Yo Gabba Gabba back in 2015. But that was almost two years ago, so what has she been up to? It seems like she's enjoying the married life, but has yet to make any public appearances. However, she is set to reprise her role as Princess Fiona in DreamWorks' Shrek 5, which is scheduled to be released in 2020. But we're still hoping that she will appear in another film before then. Number 9. Hayden Christensen in the early 2000s, everybody thought Christensen was going to be Hollywood's next big star. He became a subject of the public eye for starring in the Star Wars films, but his post-Star Wars movies weren't big hits and he faded in the background. He became a family man and settled down with actress Rachel Bilson and spent five years away from the spotlight. It wasn't until 2015 when he returned to the big screen starring in the drama 90 Minutes in Heaven. While many people thought it wasn't a good decision to move acting aside during the peak of his fame, he stated that he knew the consequences. He told the Los Angeles Times that if time away was going to take a jab at his career, then so be it. And if he could climb his way back up, then maybe he'll feel like he earned it. Number 8. Jennifer Love Hewitt Back in the 90s, Hewitt dominated the screen, starring in thrillers like I Know What You Did Last Summer and its 1998 sequel, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Her last on-screen appearance was playing Alison Marks in the 2012 film, Jutopia, which garnered negative reviews, receiving 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. In fact, Slate's Hollywood career o -matic has listed Hewitt as the worst actress in the past 20 years. In the late 2010s, she made a few guest appearances on TV shows like The Client List and Criminal Minds, but has yet to star in any Hollywood blockbusters. Hewitt has also never made it over a 60% on Rotten Tomatoes, earning a 15 and 11% in both Garfield films, respectively. Number 7. Lindsay Lohan the former child actress was once praised for her role playing both twins in the 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. Since the movie's success, she skyrocketed to the top and started notable movies like Freaky Friday, Mean Girls, and Herbie Fully Loaded. However, the teen idol sensation got too caught up in the lifestyle of partying. She started taking drugs and got herself into some legal trouble that became the subject of media and tabloids. After years of arrests, rehab, and family problems, it seemed like Lohan was going in a downward spiral. She became notorious for arriving late during production, not acting professionally, and being unpredictable on set. Her behavior was a result of a major setback in her music and acting career. Combined with box office failures and a bad reputation, no director was willing to cast Lohan. Her last movie role was almost four years ago, and she's currently set to star in another film called The Shadow Within. Let's hope this movie gets Lohan back in the game. Number 6. Jaden Smith 
Famous for being the son of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, he definitely has acting in his genes. Starring in box office hits like The Pursuit of Happiness and The Karate Kid, it seemed like Jaden's movie career was taking off. But after starring in the 2013 science fiction film After Earth, Jaden completely stopped acting. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan, the movie was a box office dud, and both actors received Razzie Awards for Worst Actor and Supporting Actor. His father, Will Smith, even told People magazine that the failure of the movie left him a mess. While it's speculated that Will Smith pulled his son from the acting world, Jaden hasn't entirely left the media. Known for his wacky personality and unique way of thinking, the 18-year-old continues to school us on his knowledge of life through a series of tweets and bizarre behavior. So until then, we'll be waiting for Jaden to make a comeback on the big screen. Number 5. Tobey Maguire Best known for being an A-list actor and playing the first Spider-Man, the superhero movie pretty much rose him to stardom. However, when Spider-Man 3 came out, it didn't do so well as the other films did. So they decided to make things right with Spider-Man 4. But unfortunately, Sony scrapped the project and decided to pursue a reboot. Since then, he's been producing other movies and was even involved in some illegal gambling back in 2011. That soured his name. To avoid litigation, Maguire settled in 2012. He also got married in 2007 and had two kids, but after 10 years of marriage, he got divorced. Since his split, it seems like he might try to get back into acting. Number 4. Victoria Justice The rising young star is best known for playing the lead in Nickelodeon's teen sitcom Victorious. Despite the series being a hit among teens, she announced that the series would not be renewed for a fifth season. Since the show ended, Victoria didn't seem so victorious in landing other jobs. She starred in MTV's Eye Candy as the lead, but the show was cancelled after one season. She also starred in the 2017 movie The Outcasts, which was scheduled for release in 2015 but pushed to 2017. While many of her castmates like Ariana Grande and Avon Jogia went to star in spin-off shows and launch a successful music career, she seemed to struggle to stay afloat due to her snub attitude and feud with pop star Ariana Grande. Number 3. Gwyneth Paltrow the multi-talented starlet gained early notice in the 90s for her work, appearing in the thriller film Seven and A Perfect Murder. But despite plenty of fans, the actress has gained a lot of hate over the years. In fact, she was ranked number one in Star Magazine's 20 Most Hated Celebrities in Hollywood. Paltrow was so shocked that she was number one that she questioned it during an interview with BBC's Steven Sacker. He went on to suggest that it was probably because of how she put people down. While Paltrow disputed that she was only trying to be her authentic self, she did acknowledge that she did grow up with a silver spoon in her mouth. It's currently been about two years since the actress starred in any on-screen roles. She is now focusing her attention on other work, but it's unsure if she'll star in another film anytime soon. Number 2. Eddie Murphy the actor and comedian was a fan favorite in the 90s, and since 2014, his films had grossed over $3.8 in the United States and Canada. But in the last couple of years, we've barely heard from him. His latest role was back in 2016, starring as Henry Joseph Church in Mr. Church. But his fans are wondering why he isn't starring in big blockbuster hits like he used to before. Well, a few years ago, Murphy hinted that he wanted to retire from acting and make a return in stand-up comedy after three decades. According to an interview with Rolling Stone, he revealed that he was semi retired and was content with where he was at. But the combination of high and low ratings throughout the years, he also wanted to focus on his family instead of just getting a paycheck. He also just had a new kid with his wife, Paige Butcher. However, he is reprising his role for Shrek 5 as Donkey, which is due for release in 2020. Number 1. Katherine Heigl the young actress was on the fast track to becoming Hollywood's It Girl, dishing out rom-coms like Knocked Up and 27 Dresses. However, over the past couple of years, Heigl has become recognized for her demanding behavior on set, which has tainted her image. Her downfall started back in 2008. She badmouthed her movies and was labeled as a killjoy from her co-stars. She's also complained about long hours during production and asked for numerous days off. But despite her apologies to the public, her publicist quit on her, and now the starlet is having a difficult time breaking into blockbuster roles. Her last on-screen appearance was in the 2017 thriller Unforgettable, and despite opening to 4.8 million, the movie earned a 25% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Hopefully Heigl will get a second chance to prove herself in Hollywood. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.